All right, next, proceed with the next task, task number four. Again, the same PDF file, 2018 mock exam. Here it says that we have to write a Java program that calculates and displays weekly salary for an employee. The main method prompts the user for an hourly pay rate, regular hours and overtime hours. So we have to ask our user to enter three um, information variables or values. Create a separate method, it must be a separate method, to calculate overtime pay, which is regular hours times pay, the pay rate plus overtime hours times 1.5, the pay rate. Return the result to the main method to be displayed. All right, this code is a little bit easier than the previous one. So again, we have the package name, never mind this the name. We are again using the Java Util Scanner library. And here is our class. And inside the class, we have main method and salary calculation method. Inside of this main method, first we declare the variable for scanner, SC. And then we have three variables. Two of them are integer and one is double. Integers are regular hours and overtime hours and double is pay rate. So first, this is a normal print line. Hello, welcome to salary calculator 5000 turbo. And then I ask a user to enter regular hours. Perhaps I might here add regular hours per week or whatever, or this week, doesn't matter. Um, then I, whatever the user enters, I assign that value to regular hours. The next, I ask user to enter the overtime hours. Again, uh, the, whatever the user enters, I add it to overtime hours with next integer. If you pay attention in the next one, I use next double, which accepts the double value from the user. Um, here we say system again, about print line. Very good. Now please enter the pay rate per hour. And that whatever the user enters, I assign that to pay rate. And in the end, I'm printing the result. In the result, I say your salary is the dollar sign. And here I call this function. Remember calling function is just writing the function name, opening and closing parentheses. Um, now inside this parentheses, there might be or may not be some uh, attributes or parameters that you pass to that function or method. And in our case, it has to be, you see our method or function expects two integer values and one double value to be transferred to that uh, method. And inside I take some variable, I assign the type double. First I assign it as a zero. And then I calculate regular hours multiplied by normal pay rate plus overtime hours multiplied by 1.5 and multiplied by pay rate. The whole thing is assigned to salary and I return salary. Remember um, the type of the method and whatever you return must be same type. So if our salary, this salary would be integer, then it would be problematic because it's expecting double, but you're returning salary. You see the whole thing is giving error. That's why it must be double. Let's test this out. Uh, in order to make the code shorter, I, don't, I didn't put any checking or while loops until user enters the correct information which means currently user can enter even characters and which will result in an error in our program, but it wasn't given in the task to make sure that user enters the correct information. That's why I didn't bother with writing some extra code. So let's test it. Please enter regular hours this week, for example, 40 hours. Good. Now please enter overtime hours, for example, mm, 
10 hours and very good now please enter pay rate per hour i can write 15 for example your salary is 825 let's check it um 40 multiplied by 15 is 600 and 10 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 1.5 225 plus 600 825 perfect thank you for watching